NBA superstar and vice president of the MBPA, Jalen Brown, calls out Nets owner Joe Sy in a post-game interview. This is what he had to say. Take a listen. Joe Sy's comment about Kyrie uh, on Twitter. What about that bothered you? Um, and what about Joe Sy's comment? And then what, if anything, that the league has done has bothered you? Yeah, his response was alarming to me. I tweeted it out yesterday. He didn't say that um, the organization was working together to get Kyrie back on the floor. He, he said that he had more work to do. Um, and our society has more work to do, including Joe Sy. And it's 2022. Um, it takes 10 minutes of time to see who, you know, these business owners, corporations, et cetera, who they're associated with, who they're doing business with, and who they're affiliated with. And I'm vice president of the union, and it's part of my job to protect our players legally. And to see Phil Knight first come out and condemn, you know, Kyrie, Reed and also see Joe Sy say he has more work to do, I think it's time for a larger conversation. And Adam came out and said a statement that he doesn't believe Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic, um, yet he's still suspended indefinitely. Um, so those are my thoughts. So how, what do you think the reaction should be with him uh, if, if that's not the way to do it? Like what, what should be the response? Uh, I said this before, I think it's uncharted territory. I think it's no distinction between you know, what somebody says versus some, what somebody posts. Um, and I guess that that's what they're trying to figure out. You know, the terms that the Brooklyn Nets instituted for his return, uh, I voice you know, my discomfort. Some of our players, some people in the media voice some of their discomfort with that. And you know, we've yet to hear you know, what is the, the latest with that situation. You know, it's still an indefinite suspension. He's already missed five or six games. So, you know, how many games is he going to continue to miss? Is it a, another situation going on there? Is it a larger situation going on there? Is another conversation that need to be had? Um, we've yet to find out. So I'm, I'm staying tuned and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm keeping my phone on to just see what is going to come of this situation. Kyrie Irvin has been ruled out for what will be his seventh consecutive Miss game after the Nets deem him unfit to be associated with a franchise following the controversial post of a movie that contained anti-Semitic materials. Also, Barnes & Nobles has pulled the controversial book Hebrews to Negroes Wake Up Black America of its shelves while Kyrie Evan continues to face backlash for promoting it. CEO of the Anti-Defamation League commended Barnes & Nobles Tuesday in the morning saying the bookseller's decision to yank the book should set a precedent for Amazon. The CEO then turned his attention to Amazon, revealing he wrote to the company over a week ago, looking to have a conversation about the book slash film's presence on its website. The ADL CEO says he would like a disclaimer added to the book or film at least. So yeah, that was that's what's going on in the Kyrie Evans side of things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.